What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Triple Changers, favorite nerd, and today we are looking at Metagate Red Fantasy, which, of course, is their take on the Triple Changer from the Bumblebee movie, The Villain, which we haven't got many offerings of. In fact, this might be the first, at least as a masterpiece. This is on loan to me from Jordan W., so shout out to him. I'm hoping that this doesn't break my streak, but I have mixed feelings on how Metagate tends to engineer their figures, specifically with their transformations. But only time will tell. So let's stop wasting hours and get straight to accessories. So it comes with this, which is like a cannon. Um, there is some moving pieces and such that we'll go through as we go through it. But we have red paint, silver paint, red paint, silver paint. Otherwise, kind of uh, just empty black plastic here on the other side. That can tab in to the back of the car. With the hand kind of balled up and spent backwards, you can take your cannon and sort of wrap it around. And it pegs in to just above the wrist and then the cannon sort of comes back down and wraps over the hand um and that's how you utilize that you know it's it's funny because it's like a small thing and it should be an easy thing to accomplish but they they kind of make it more complicated than it has to be here even just to get the weapon in his hand he comes with four missiles there's two different types one with kind of these wings and then one with the kind of more spikes uh, you get two of each they're black plastic with a red stripe around the end. They will all tab into the cannon. All of those missiles can tab into slots at the bottom of the wings in jet mode. Is it a she? I feel like it's a she. Is it a female character? I don't even know. The figure comes with a display stand, and this is the kind of bit for the helicopter and also for the robot, but this is just a flat plastic base. It's got some texture you know, kind of molded into it, but otherwise not a whole lot to talk about. However, you can, of course, sit the car on it. Underneath, there's a slot here and there. You can use your display stand, tab those in, use that as a support beam, which is actually kind of nice. You have one adjuster here, and then one adjuster here. I said one adjuster here and then you can kind of lock in wherever you so desire and then of course enter the armature into the base and I'll tell you it's a not an easy fit honestly it's it's a really tight tolerance so it's a, it's a bit of a pain but it is functional the stand can be utilized in robot mode also there's a a peg that locks in to the back of the pelvis and it's uh it's okay it's a it's a little bit of a rough connection that's kind of the story of this figure in general but yeah it, it works you can also tab in your shoulder cannon into your display stand using these two notches there's a couple different options for you to do it there's also slots along the way where you can tab in your missiles as well so you can display all the accessories and stuff on the display stand which is cool Lastly, he comes with a set of side mirrors that are on a sprue. I'm just going to leave them in there, as well as maybe this little grenade thing, which I'm not sure about. I'm guessing you can hold it. It's a uh, silver and then looks like washed black. And then you have two stickers for uh, the mirrors for the side mirrors. Um, I'm just not losing any of this. I'm just keeping it in the bag. It doesn't really do much for me. So, um, But he does come with them. And car mode, I think, works really well. Um, there's paint obviously that comes through nicely and then a lot of like glossy plastic that ends up looking paint-esque which i think is okay nice detailing silver detailings here the headlights etc we have the light bar up at the top here the kind of like protecting roll cage kind of stuff there i think that's all cool um the engine block being die cast and like looking like you know worn metal i think is a nice touch we got the 722 um pad printed paint there yeah um, I will say like this is right out of box and it doesn't look a hundred percent finished to me Like this area looks a little undone. This area looks a little undone. This area looks a little, you know Like a, a little bit is to be desired there. I think But I think overall it does work pretty nicely and in my head anyway, like that vehicle was kind of junky <laughs> I, don't know, I could just that could just totally be my memory like a Mandela effect sort of thing But I think that that does come through here. I think they did a decent enough job and there it is next to Tiger Tracks. So, significantly big vehicle. All right, let's do it. Wheel out, fender up. You can spin this and then bring down this little cover here over top. I don't know, actually, this might need to stay up. 
Let's do the same thing on the other side. Out, up, fender, up, and over. Let's see. These windows here need to come up on both sides and the back split these sections this whole piece will swing out on both sides and then on the bottom here this piece needs to come up fold your tire in and then bring the whole wing out rotate here tuck in the wing into this section and it's tight I'm not sure if I even have it right but then rotate the wing out this piece needs to come over and around and sort of sit in alignment with the wing same on this side bring this piece up a little bit just enough to get that tire in and then bring this whole section out and over tab in as much of this as you can it's not the easiest thing to do rotate the wing out from this section you have to bend it around plastic in order to do so and then sit it up against it bring out these side pieces here that are at the front of the grill flip down this piece Ugh. whoa got carried away there um it's just a ball peg thankfully so this comes down on the other side and you have two pegs that sit here and there and they need to uh tab in to the two female ports here on the front of the grill now I'll get that and then the head can come back and you can just sit it up against uh, facing the back of the vehicle now we need to get the arms facing the opposite way and underneath so bring them up and around manipulate the shoulder pad as need be untab this section so that you can spin this around I think the arm has to be facing I don't know we'll, we'll sort it out like that. and same for this side up and around on tab manipulate the shoulder pad as need be in order to get this back and on the other side and then we'll take a closer look all right so this is where uh, some money is made so we got to take these shoulder pads there's a small peg that needs to come up and spin and then let me try this side <laughs> needs to come up and spin and tab in to the side of this shoulder piece here this one's giving me a little bit of grief i think it's because it's not spinning right like this piece isn't spinning so let me go ahead and get this arm done and then take a look at this so then we have to open up this panel here this gray panel and you want to turn the hand so that you're karate chopping back in and then tuck the thumb down to the side now same thing needs to be done on this side open this up but this time you're not tucking the hand so you're just keeping the the thumb out and i think just straightening it and then this all needs to come together 
and that hand fits in the cavity there and it tabs together let me fix this shoulder pad I'll get right back all right I had to loosen a screw uh, on the shoulder pad it is right there in order to get it to move and then I really had to roll these shoulders in so make sure you roll them in as far as they can go it almost feels like they can't go any further but there's a little tab that lines up on the bottom of these forearm pieces here um, they need to be, get stuck in so just work until it works you know what I mean okay cockpit comes out from this section it has another nose cone here that comes out and then another nose cone here that comes out and then this all comes down and tabs in and then this piece comes under oh god it grabs the hand uh, and that's basically it I'll, I'll of course clean it up a taste but that's the steps okay bring these pieces up bring the f down you can bring these out to the side you got to bring these out to the side and then open these up then you want to kind of open up your legs here so to speak bring down your landing gear and on this side this hull flips up and to this and then you can bring this back down and as you do you can then collapse this all back together again on the back side here or the top I guess rather close these back down and bring these bits back here and tab them into the bottom and I think the tab together as well yes okay then bring up your tires and these have to flip out some kind of way let me figure this out real quick there it is swing that out which will allow you to split that in half fold it up the opposite way and then you can tuck that back in let's do that again there we go out split the tire in half fold it back in all right bring these armatures out and over you want to basically flip some flaps here so this comes out and this comes up and this comes up and just make sure that it's oriented properly I gotta get around this wing here there we go okay so same on this side once again you gotta get around this wing there so rotate up flip the flaps and bring this down bring that up and then these have to come together I got it I'll show it to you here as soon as I get these connected um, so let's get these connected these actually have to like over under which I'm not a fan of And 
then the tail, I still don't have this quite right. It doesn't really fit quite right. And then the tail has to come together. This piece sits back in. This comes down and tabs in. Um, there's a section here, and I gotta I gotta redo this bit because I can't get it to fit. There's a tab here that fits in between the tire spaces. I'll show that here in a second. But this is what I really want you to see is this armature here, the orientation of it. So you know this is the screws for your wings to get yourself oriented and then this kind of knuckle comes up and over and then the wings sort of sit underneath and that's how you need it i'll get this sorted and we'll come back and show that off a bit now the wings so bring them up this bar slides down and then this comes over and there is a tab here uh that'll plug into the wing It's just hard to see it. And same on this side. And then on the bottom here, you just make sure the windows are up on both sides. And this piece spins 180 and sits back, 180, sits back, and then your tires come back in there. And then the last thing to do is the landing gear. This spins on the ball peg, comes back over, and tabs back into the wing. And it's all coming undone for me, but Spins on the ball peg, comes back over, tabs into the wing, and then this head comes open. And landing gear comes out of her head. <laughs> Easy for me to say. Here we go. And then you can collapse her head back down. I'll clean it up. We'll take a look at it. And there it is. And I don't have everything locked in perfect. Um, but it's kind of a pain. And it's not their worst in that regard. But, you know, I've certainly had better experiences. But uh, I think it pulls it off fairly well, in all honesty. You know, like all this could get a little bit tighter. But. A lot of the, the issues getting here have to do with, like, for one, some stuff locks in, like it pegs in, some stuff doesn't, it just lays up against things. I hate that in engineering. I bloody hate it. My other issue is that some of the tabs that are supposed to lock kind of really big pieces in place, for instance, these panels here down in there are like little itty bitty tabs that come out with, like, if you blow on them, so to speak. So, um, yeah, it's not my favorite. I do think that the deco and stuff comes through nicely. I think it's impressive that you don't really see any car parts, you know, and you don't really see any airplane parts in car mode. Like, that is not lost on me. I get that. Um, I'm just not, once again, with this company, I'm just not 100% satisfied in the way that they handle the engineering. And there it is next to Tiger Tracks. All right, let's continue. So let's just open up everything here. We got to extend this, get these out of the way. You can untab this. You can split these and get those out of the way. You can bring these up and these up. And you can open up this, I believe, and this. You might have to spin this as well. I just I can't recall at the moment. 
and that will get us some working space anyway. I know it doesn't seem it to start working on the... Open these up, spin these out. That allows you to move these down. And then you can separate these from the hips. This is a little bit better to look at. Let's tuck in the landing gear. This panel here swings down and around. That actually pegs into that bar right there. And then this piece slides up and pegs in to the thigh. So this comes around and this slides up and pegs into the thigh. All right, the swing down, tab in, the foot comes down, the toe comes up, and the heel spur comes out. You can get that foot out of the way for a second. We gotta get this fin back up, swing this whole piece around, and the fin, or the tire tabs in to the back piece there, and then you just gotta get your foot oriented around it. So, same for this side. Uh, let's see, where are we? Let's do this way first. We'll get our fin out. Bring the tire around, tab it in. And bring this down, tab that in. Toes up foot down, spur out. All right, release the nose cone. This has to get all put away. So in, bring down, back in. This comes back down and sits where it was. You can spin this around, unfurl the uh, arms or the shoulders there, and Let's put the landing gear away. Barely has room to do so. And then this piece comes up and rotate that out of the way. And then spins 180. All right. And then these two sections angle. I'm sorry, the angle down. Once again, there's no stopper on it. Like you just kind of have to guess where it's appropriate, um, which I'm not a fan of. And then this has to come up and plug in to these tabs here that sit along the kind of ridge of the, I don't know, the collarbone area. And... There's not a lot of space to do so. There's one. You have to like really bend it around. There's the other. And then this comes down and tabs in to this chest piece. Keep the shoulders out of the way for a second. And then this comes down, splits in half, kind of sandwiches around, and sits, uh, uh, you have to double hinge this back and tabs into the, uh, to the flank area on both sides. All right, and then the head has to sit back against the back of the uh, neck area, and then you can rotate the antenna to the back. This has to come up and over, and then the shoulder drops down, manipulate the shoulder pad around, extend the arm, rotate the hand out, close the forearm, and then spin so that it's you know sitting right. 
Same for this side. This comes up. The shoulder comes down. And the shoulder pad comes up and around. The arm extends. The forearm closes, it's already been done, and then spin at the bicep. Working on the back here, we're gonna take these pieces. There's a tab here that goes into the back of the shoulder, doesn't really stay stuck in, go figure. Um, that window needs to fold in. And then collapse your fin here, if you haven't already, bring this up, sit it up against the 722 and then rotate this back and spin the fin at the same time so that it sits out. We'll do that one more again. This piece comes up, rotate your window in, tab into the back of the shoulder, rotate your fin in, rotate this panel up, rotate this underneath and as you do so rotate the wing down and there you have it so then the wings and we're not out of the woods yet not by a long shot so slide that up bring this piece out you want to bring your landing gear back where it kind of was originally tabbed in there and then rotate this piece down you have to kind of bend this a bit in order to bring this all the way around there is a tab here that will lock in just above the screw or below the screw depending on how you view it and we'll go ahead and do that again slide in take this piece here bring it down tab it into the wing angle it out move this this piece down kind of as a catch-all swing this whole piece up this will tab in good this landing gear swivels right and you want to swivel it until this kind of large tab is facing the inside and then it comes over and tabs in to this tire <laughs> there <laughs> dude it's too too much all right same on this side bring it down and that's tabbed in that's it i'll clean it up we'll take a look at it and we'll get in tight on the head sculpt for Dennis. And I think they did a great job. Um, I think it looks super accurate. The eyes are painted red. The head is painted silver, or the face rather. And we have the silver stripes down the helmet. Nice detailing is on the side there. I think they did a good job. Let me get a little closer light here. Yeah. It's on a ball peg, um, but it's actually on a, the ball peg is connected to a hinge, so you can get up and down. Do you know what I mean? Like you can manipulate it enough to kind of get it what you need. Swivel, tilt, attitude, all that stuff is going to work well. Let's back out a bit and down a bit. So, uh, okay, I'm not sure where to begin. The torso is fine but it just looks like a flat plate that they put some pipes on. And I, I think as sort of as meticulous as the rest of this piece looks, it does lack a little something there. That's subjective, of course. Um, Detailings wise, it's great. The silver paint, the blue paint, the blue metallic, all looks good. You have a waist swivel, you have an ab crunch, no issues there. We have the shoulders. The shoulders, golly. So you have a hinge at the base, and then the hinge is connected to a swivel, so it basically acts as a universal, but it's offset, um, but still gets you out to 90 degrees. 
and then around until you bump into something. The shoulder pad is connected to the shoulder, which is my preference. Sometimes they're connected to the chest, which is not my preference. You have a bicep swivel. A lot of plain, basic black plastic here, which does look a little off-putting because there's so much detailing on the rest of it. We have a double-hinged elbow that gets you the full range. We have a wrist swivel. We have a thumb on a ball peg that comes out to a secondary and tertiary hinge. The fingers, the bottom three, are on the same basic uh, knuckle here at the bottom and then have a secondary hinge as well and the index finger has two hinges independently and then you get a little bit of up down movement as well and this you get the same up down movement I just wanted to check all right back out now look at the whole figure best we can anyway hips universals uh, little limited on the outward movement because of the dynamics of the hips. You can unplug this and get a little bit more if you so desire. Uh, they are ratcheted. Forward, no problem. Back, no problem. Thigh swivel, no problem. Uh, gold paint there on the hips, so we had a little bit of silver and gold. The gray panels there look good for what it's worth. And then you have your knees ratcheted knees that get you pretty much the full range until the uh, fin bumps into the thigh and then we have ankles this this all this stuff comes undone uh, ankle tilt up no problem there is there a little bit of ankle tilt down maybe and then an ankle rocker to a full extent we got some red paint on the toes nice red and gray paint there on the bottom that looks sharp as a tack and uh, there it is from the back um look it's impressive what they did um they just i just feel like they're doing too much <laughs> let's do some size comparisons size comparison wise there it is with a masterpiece seeker so the head of a masterpiece seeker comes up to about the bottom of the chest so i mean this is a, a significantly sized robot as it should be to kind of blend in with the rest of the line or the the rest of the kind of products that have been made for that universe so i think that that's good Lordy, Lordy, look who's 40. Final thoughts wise, let's start with the negatives. Uh, I think the biggest negatives are engineering issues. Once again, I kind of mentioned them already, but small tabs that are responsible for holding large, heavy pieces and components together. Stuff where you have to kind of swing plastic around other plastic in order to make it happen. A good example of this is connecting the kind of collarbone area to the back plate. But another example is dealing with the wings. There was that whole section on the shoulder pad that I had to loosen with a screw. I just think this is a company that takes a lot of ambitious choices in regards to making figures and they haven't earned it and it shows i think every triple changer has a weakest link i think the weakest link here is jet mode but it's not hateful but it still ain't great and you got to do an awful lot to get it to not great which is enough to irritate me uh the stand sucks it's a cool idea, but like the, the notch locking components constantly come undone. It has a hard time, the, the actual stand has a hard time fitting into the base. It's a weaker plastic. It wobbles. Nice idea, poor execution. Kind of a metaphor for the piece at large, in my opinion. But this thing does have some stuff going for it. The materials feel good. The plastics feel good, with the exception of the base. The die cast feels good. It does feel like a quality piece. The paint is beautiful. Sharp, crisp clean well applied the majority of the sculpt is great looks just like the, the character nice ratchets in the hips and knees specifically it'll fit in with the rest of the line nicely nobody else is making it and i think the car mode looks good and it is impressive that you can't see any elements of the car in airplane mode and you can't see any elements of the airplane in car mode and you see a bit of both in robot mode like that's not easy i acknowledge that they were able to pull it off i just wish they had a little bit more experience under their belt and making it a worthwhile experience <laughs> or at, at least a remotely pleasurable one but if you're into this universe and you need a shatter I mean this is probably the one that, that you're gonna want and I don't see anybody else doing it that movie's been around for quite some time so I acknowledge that as well and can recommend it based on that but it is far from my favorite thing of the year hope that helps thanks for listening thanks for watching until next time take care <laughs>